show you how to create an assignment because we've already created our first category and remember what I said you have to have a category before you can create an assignment so I'm gonna go back to my gradebook on the top menu bar and then I have all my classes here so you can start by actually clicking on the class or you can go straight to assignments or you can use a little checkbox so let's say I want to add a language arts assignment. I check the box and click assignment. And then here I already have an assignment that um, has been created. It's the weekly test for reading. But let's say I wanted to add a new assignment. So I go up to my options button and add assignment. Okay, and I've got my category. This is where that category thing comes in handy. We've got T for test, so I'm going to click OK, T for test, and then the gradebook column name, uh, you, could, you could have uh, the actual name of the weekly test or, you know, kind of whatever you want. You might want it short because your gradebook column is going to be one, so this could be weekly test one, assignment, weekly test one, et cetera, et cetera. Um, your date assigned and your date due is here. I would maybe um, not have them on the same day. Give yourself a little bit of a window to enter in the grades, but it's kind of up to you. Uh, if you're going to use online submission, that's, that's here. And then this is where you can add the link or the file if you have an online submission. You can also do extra credit. Um, make it to where the score can't be dropped. And then this is the really important one. Uh, you don't want an assignment to be public until the grades are in. So you're going to want to make sure you set this to private until grades are in. So just make sure that you do that and you choose that option while, um, while you're waiting for the kids to take it and waiting for yourself to grade it. You want to make sure that it's private. And entry mode, again, kind of like the category, I would leave it as both. That way, whatever you're feeling froggy with that day, you can use. And just make sure you have the correct grading scale. And we're going to be working strictly in quarter one. And then there's some recurring options. Now, if you have the, if you have the date, the date assigned and the due date um, set like this over here, it, the weekly and monthly may not work. I, I need to play a little bit more with that, but you can. You could do a daily grade, and then it pops this up, tells you when to start and end, and the frequency every one day. So you could do every two days, every four days. You can get as fancy with it as you want. And then if I click on weekly, I get the same kind of box. And then it could be every, um, I don't believe we're going to do Saturday or Sunday, but every Monday through Friday, those check boxes for that. And then you could also do uh, monthly. And then it's, it kind of tells you you can have it on the 15th of every month or, you know, things like that. So it, it's got a, little, a lot of options there. And then that way you don't have to create that same assignment over and over again if it's a repeating one. So I hope this helps and enjoy making your first assignment. And don't forget at the top, hit save or at the bottom, hit save. Otherwise, it will not save your work. Thank you.